Hello and welcome to PS Best Friends episode 62 for the week of July 27th, 2018. As always, we are the PlayStation Podcast by the community, for the community. We come to you each and every Friday to give you the run on all the latest PlayStation news you could possibly need. That's right, this is the second week of our new slot on Fridays. Uh, so if this is the first episode you are listening to us, we used to be Tuesdays, but we're Fridays now. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Anthony Palm. And of course, we couldn't give you all the weekly goods without Chicago's prodigal son, Miguel Alvarez. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Chillin' chillin'. Uh, the other one with us, as always, the Brooklyn bad boy, Jeffrey Mizrahi. What up, what up, what up? Just coming off uh, now on my second podcast of the week. Uh, shouts out to Nerd to the Third podcast. I guest starred on... <laughs> That episode, uh, check that out on podcast platforms, Nerd to the Third. Uh, yeah, I actually listened to that earlier today, and um, I just, how the fuck did I know when it was going to come down to uh, to movies that you like that no one else likes, you were going to say Social Network? If, if um, the word movie is mentioned, I will say Social Network is the best movie ever. Like, and I no love how you what. always you <laughs> always throw in the joke of Social Network is objectively the best movie of all time, and people don't know that you're joking. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I make sure. I hope no one catches on. That's like a heavily repeated joke. Uh, yeah, so this week we're going to be talking about a bunch of bundles. Uh, we got a Spider-Man and PS... Uh, Spider-Man and Black Ops... Black Ops 4, not PS4. Although there is a PS4 thing for Spider-Man, whatever. Uh, we're going to get some insight into the development of Anthem. And uh, we're also going to get a furry ball of death in the newest Overwatch update with uh, Hammond, who is actually <coughs> called... Uh, what, what do they call him? Uh, uh, Wrecking Ball, which everyone was like, just call him Hammond. Uh, but yeah, so before we get into the news, though, what have you guys been playing this past week? Um, yeah, so I've been playing a uh, bunch of No Man's Sky, um, which, you know, we'll, we all played that, so we'll get into that in a second. Um, been playing a bunch of Destiny as well, and hold up, don't get all your panties up in a Ooh, just basket. playing Destiny again. <laughs> um, but they did something What's actually good. They did something good for once. If uh, you guys heard murmurings around the internet, uh, what happened this week in Destiny, they added a secret quest for an exotic gun that pretty much fans have been asking for for since they did it in Destiny 1. Uh, and they did it, when? and that was like all thumbs up all around. But they did make it like extremely timed in which like it, it was happening and no one knew. So like whatever, and no one knew when it was going to be over. Uh, and then they said, hey, this uh, event's going to be over in 12 hours, so do it now. And it's like, oh, what the, what the fuck? Um, so I, unfortunately, didn't get to get the gun. When did it was the over the weekend. Out? What? Uh, when September. did the game came out? September. Yeah, no, it, it's, it sh- they should have had... No. When did the game came out? What do you mean, Destiny 2? Yeah. Uh, September 9th, 2017. Okay. And they're That's doing it cool. now. Yeah. I mean... Uh, Smart well, puppies. Smart puppies. Well, like, like I said, yeah, it was a thing in Destiny 1 that people loved, and it, like, it doesn't really make sense why there wasn't hey, more welcome to the beta. cool secret quests. Um, for context, the secret quest is like one dude notices like, hey, this random Taken Knight just showed up uh, uh, in this area where he <laughs> normally isn't. Like, does anyone think this is a thing? And like that guy posts that to the internet, uh, and then everyone like, oh, like trying to figure it out. Kind of like a zombie Easter egg. Um, but yeah, that is thumbs up for Destiny, thumbs down for making it super timed. Uh, but now let's jump into uh, No Man's Sky discussion. Uh, we've all been playing that new update. I have not played the new update yet. Ooh. I was okay. going to before, and then uh, I ran out of time before we started recording. Um, so then what did you play besides No Man's Sky this week? Uh, so I picked up Enter the Gungeon on Switch. It was like 7 bucks on sale. Ooh, the game is so fucking fun, but I'm so glad I waited for Switch. Because as good of a game as it is on PS4... I'm glad I have a portable because it's such a perfect like I need to kill like five ten minutes kind of game you know so uh, I didn't play it, a lot of it but you know I played it in you know little bite sized chunks uh, whenever I have a little bit of time and I know I can't get invested in the other game that I've been playing which I played last week as well and that's Octopath Traveler and my fucking god this game is just so good it it, it keeps growing on me the more I play it uh, I'm up to five party members out of the eight um <clears throat> I really love the way that the game kind of changes based on who you have in your party because you have different actions that you could do to people in a given town. Um, so I'm, I'm really loving it. I know uh, Jason Schreier from Kotaku, he was kind of down on it a little bit when he when uh, you know it first came out and his, his review was kind of like, it's not great. And then like 
earlier this past week, he made another kind of comment about, like, it's interesting, the more people play Octopath Traveler, the more they find it dull. And I was like, I don't know, man. The more I play it, the more I like it. So, um, I don't yeah, know. I also did see uh, Video Game Donkey, prominent YouTuber, also uh, say, have some similar, um, I guess, disappointment in the game, uh, in which uh, his big, the biggest complaint uh, that I took away from his video was that when you get all these other characters in your party, uh, the story really doesn't change. It's like, you just did this whole person's thing, and now they're just like, on in your group but they're like the story like it's like while you're doing someone else's story it's like they're just sitting in the back like watching it is that have you found that i mean it's not not true but it doesn't bother me because it's to me it's kind of like these characters are going through stuff together you know what i mean and so there is a lot of banter between the characters so like i don't understand that like there's like what do you want them to do like your each character has their own story what like how do you want like there's no possible way they could have had all like how many permutations would there have needed to have been yeah, for true. every single character to have a like a specific thing to do with every other character story you know what i mean because what if i didn't have this character in my part you know so i don't know how they thought it was gonna be possible to do that but excuse me but the banter between the characters is excellent um there is an end game and it's not a spoiler because nintendo announced it when they announced the game there is an end game story that does tie everyone together uh, mm. Which Jason Schreier did not acknowledge because I think there was a big deal about him not even beating the game. Um, mm. But there is that, so that that's part of why he, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to get too much into the negativity. I am fucking loving this game. That's I'll leave it at that. I'm loving it. Thumbs up on Octopath. Nice, uh, Miguel. What you up to? Uh, nothing. You know, just see here chilling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I tried. Uh, uh, like I said last week, I tried No Man's Sky before the patch and after the patch. Uh, so what was, so was your before it, the patch review <clears throat> impressions thoughts well I mean for both of them I still have no fucking clue what to do <laughs> okay <laughs> it, it, it does <laughs> it, I game. did notice that uh, now the challenges like your um, missions or whatever the, the quest yeah. like pop on the side like it didn't before I think it did but it was like really uh, it was smaller mm-hmm. and I was watching you st- on the stream and I did notice them um, like more act like prevalent on the on the on the side, uh, which is nice. It's tell it's pretty much a tutorial without actually telling you it's a tutorial. Yeah, which Jeff. Is nice. When I was watching you earlier today uh, on my lunch break, I you made a good point that I that I noticed, and I don't remember if it was there originally. Um, I just genuinely don't remember. But the game kind of acknowledges when you need to do a side thing. That it's not a side quest, but it's like a thing you have to do. So like you were low on launch fuel, I think, like to be able to take off in your yeah. in your your ship. And the game just added that as kind of like almost a radiant quest of like, hey, yeah. you need launch fuel. So we're gonna add this quest here so you don't forget that you need launch fuel. And yeah. it, it's kind of cool did. that it does that. I don't remember if that was there before. It, yeah, it was I, there before the patch when I play, I was playing it. I get that. It did said like you were missing something too. I don't know if it was because it was the beginning of the game, but it did. Uh, That's show up like, yeah. Hey. I, th- I think that might have just been like the starter okay. quest of like, hey, you need to fix your hyperdrive to be able to continue. Oh, okay. the game. It could be. Yeah. 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 Might have been yeah, that, that, but I might. It might have also. I don't remember. I definitely remember at launch it being like, um, it tells you once how to refuel your thing, and then and that uh, was it. Thirty minutes later, uh, um, you're out of fuel, and you're like, fuck, what the hell am I supposed to do? Now? Like, I, I forgot that specific thing I need to do. And it's kind of like I, you're shit out of luck, you know. Um, but yeah, no. Now it's been really helpful having the little tutorial thing. Um, one quality of life thing I don't know why like they didn't hammer down is that it only appears like when you're in like the um, the little tutorial like build this one thing only appears when you're like in the main game. But when you hit pause uh, or, or like start in your inventory and like you're actually making the stuff, it that goes away and it doesn't say it. And you have to keep hitting like back, like oh wait, I needed twenty of those. Okay, cool. Let me check that again. Um, small thing, like like I, I, it's not really. So injury. it's not like um, like you wanted it, you want it to stay when you're actually crafting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's what um, you're saying. Okay, okay so kind of like how Fortnite shows you how much material you have on screen while you're crafting. That yeah. kind of similar to that. Um, I was trying to but, think of a better example, but I couldn't think of one. No, yeah, I mean it's it's not even like the worst thing. I'm just like because there are some of those. Things. I mean, uh, they I'll, I'll did the say and... they did say that they're gonna uh, do weekly updates now, so that may oh, be awesome. one of the things yeah. later on to add with feedback. You know, yeah. Like, so I'm enjoying it heavily, but like another one of the small quality I think is like you'll be you could be like going in like hyper drive or like, uh, like going really fast in space, 
uh, and then you'll, it'll just cut short because you ran out of fuel, um, which is uh, uh, fine. But I feel like it should say the fuel meter on the screen, which it, it does. doesn't. Yeah, it does. Th- I, does on it? the da- on the dashboard, it does. You have to look for it. it. It's not part of the HUD. It's part of the actual ship. You have to look on the ship's dashboard. In, is in oh. first person mode. <laughs> I'm, I'm in third person mode. Oh, well, that's your fault. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, um, no, that, no, that's a good point, though. They should yeah. add that to the HUD if you're in third person. Yeah, um, but yeah. To the positive, uh, I really enjoy this game. Um, the having directed missions really uh, like changes it up. Like, like so, uh, for context, I played it in 2016 for three hours. Uh, I still have my save. Um, and after those three hours, I'm like, all right, it's not telling me to do anything, and I literally have no motivation to do anything <clears throat> in this game. So why would I? Um, but now it's like telling me to do all these things. It's much simpler. I'm understanding it. I'm not hassled with a limited inventory like uh, it was at launch. Um, so, so yeah, okay. So explain the inventory thing. Because I, I played like eight ish hours back in and in launch in 2016, and that was kind of a thing of like I'm always fucking running out of space in my ship, or I'm always running out of space on my suit. And it's so just, I, explain it's just that. less of an issue now. It's it's like, uh, hey, how about we give you more inventory to start with? And so I it's really, like it's like Destiny giving you more vault space. Yeah, like just starting yeah. off with a shitload of vault space. Um, I. I've only like twice ran into an issue where I had a full inventory, but it was like because I literally had like garbage that I was supposed to sell in my inventory. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you could upgrade it also because like in the first game, that's how we, what you were in that the first game in the first launch, iteration. Yeah, um, like that's like uh, you're supposed to keep uh, upgrading and you know your inventory, but it's like well, that's, that's the thing is like you would have fun. to go buy ships that had better bigger inventory. Yeah, so I mean, like which is still the case, with, like, which is still the case. Like, you could get better stuff with bigger inventory, but you just start off with more inventory, and it's like this that that small uh, like change really makes it such a better game. So the the uh, ship that I had previously, if I load into that, is that going to have more inventory now, or is that still going to be limited to what it was before the patch? Uh, honestly, unsure. Right. I don't know. Those though, though Here. Uh, most of your old stuff. I was just reading on Kotaku. Um, if you load up that save, is like like the turned into like old technology or something that like you're just supposed to sell that like i guess was old stuff that doesn't apply to the game even anymore. even my ship no no just like like resources and like resources uh, uh okay um upgrades or something i don't know do they know streamline you the resources yeah they uh so uh, there's not I mean, like 15 different types of like a red thing it's just all one red there thing. are but i haven't run into any like there's there are a bunch of like elements and stuff but i haven't run into an issue where it's like um, I don't know where to get this one thing. Uh, it's it's just much simpler. It's like um, uh, I'll know where to get it, pretty much. You were playing on the PC, which I'm sure the frame rate was perfect. Or you <laughs> not able for to the beginning it. of the stream? <laughs> yeah, no, that was just an issue I was having. Oh yeah, because there was an issue. It, but, yeah, uh, yeah, um, the playing I was uncapped. Yeah, I'm playing on the PS4 Pro, and I did notice a couple dips. Mm. When I was playing, I didn't check because I was, you know. Now you said you were on the pro. You said- yes, I was. I am. Um, I didn't check because I was like half asleep when I was playing, but I did notice it. If it was the motion blower that I gotta turn off, or it was just the actual like frame dips. Um, I was half asleep, yeah. so it could be either or. But I did notice like something with the the image. I was like, huh, like that's not good. When I was uh, in third person. Interesting. Yeah. No, I, I can't speak much to that, but uh, check. Let us know next week. Um, oh, I'll check. I'll double check and let you guys uh, know. if there's any performance options. Um, but yeah, no. I want to I mean, play more though. I, yeah. I told you guys even before the update. Like I could see myself just like jumping in here for a bit, just fucking just around, fucking around. It, yeah. yeah. And um, that's kind of what I did the first time around. There wasn't really anything else to play. I think I was playing like Layers of Fear when I came out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. There wasn't really anything to play. Um, I've been playing more Fortnite. Nice. I haven't touched. Like, I'm not. I'm not playing it like I used to. Like every day. Like I had to like Shit, play at least a couple matches. Um, like I'm just clearing the the challenges. But now that um, I don't know when was the update that they changed the they tweaked the the building and um. They added uh, the SMG. Was it, it was like yesterday? S- like, yeah, it was maybe it was yesterday, Tuesday, right? right? This week. Yeah, pretty sure it was, so it was Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. I haven't played since then, and I know the That sounds right, because I remember having I, to download an update. Like, I know I they're uh, like, complaining on Reddit that uh, they changed the, 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 
the building pretty much. It, I think you're able to destroy stuff uh, easier. Yeah, they which gave, is uh, it's like they give it less health. Epic is listening to daddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Epic is listening to daddy. They know what to do. They said, you know what? Miguel wants it. We're going to give it to him because we need him back. We need that muster back, you know? Oh, boy. Um, no, yeah, and, I feel like and that's daddy, and, and uh, If they keep listening to daddy, daddy's going to come back. And I might spend just, just some like money. How, uh, just like how uh, Activision's listening to you with uh, Call of Duty, right? <laughs> Sledgehammer's listening to him, not Treyarch. Sle- um, Sledgehammer, yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, no, yeah, I thought that I was mean, interesting. Tra- Treyarch and you, and you, will listen to him next year. Next year. Uh, uh, <laughs> it, we'll get into it, but you are playing a lot more uh, World War II than I am. So you could tell me if I was right. I mean, I'm not playing a tell real me. lot, but I'm playing... Lo- so You're playing is, a lot I more. I don't, I don't play long sessions, but I'll jump in more. Okay, um, was I right? Yeah, tell Daddy that, yeah, that I was right. right. So... Mm-hmm. The divisions, exactly. I st- I'm still not really sure what the difference in the divisions are, other than just oh, I perks. have to actually attach it's the... Perks. the um... You get different perks. Oh, okay. Because I know you have to yeah, actually you use notice. the silencer as like an attachment now on Airborne instead of... Uh, no, you used can to be use like it in any class now. But that's it what I'm saying. It's like, airborne, it, it used to be a perk for the Airborne, yeah. So, um, But yeah, it's it's way better. I'm it still I'm still perk. getting kind of killed judgment. by these fucking flame shotguns, which are kind of bullshit, um, which I kind of wish those would kind of go away. Um, I don't mind those. Quick scoping. I mean, you you were complaining about quick scoping. I mean, oh, it, it you happens. Have no clue, dude. It happens, but I feel like it's you not get a- in some matches, dude. Everyone's quick scoping on the fuck. I got in a uh, shipment, man. Everyone was quick scoping on the See, fucking shipment match. is like I like shipment, but I don't. I feel like it That's shouldn't the only be. Map in, I, play. I feel like that should. That's only the only be good like, map. Shipment should be like Rust. Where was Rust in an actual playlist, or was Rust only like a custom match map? No, Rust would show game. up in Modern Warfare what? Two. Oh, it was. Maybe it I was just great. remember my brother playing so many custom matches on Rust yeah. that I just, like, it, it my brain had thought that it was. Yeah. Um, but sh- shipment's cool. It's just, like, I I always it's get, like, 25 kills, but then I always have, like, 23 deaths. So it's, like, fuck. But, but um, you just it's fun. I, I, I like the map. It's just that I never, you know what I mean? Oh, man, you don't know what to do, bro. You got you to gotta play with daddy and show you uh, uh, some tricks, bro. All right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I am digging the game though. It, it definitely feels way more playable. It, that, it yes, feels like there's less bullshit than when I first played that. I don't, I don't know if I get sp- like quantify what it was that I didn't like about it, but no, it feels faster. They fixed it the feels um, they fixed the gameplay, bro. That's what they did. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, any, anything else uh, new um, we played? I'm trying to think. I have a funny Stardew Valley story for anyone that plays Stardew Valley. Um, I spent a whole day getting a bunch of really expensive shit, and then I got, uh, I bought, it was the day the merchant comes, merchant comes Friday and Sunday, you get, like, super rare stuff from the merchant, and I bought ancient seeds, which are super rare, and I went to go, uh, you get, like, these, these kind of mini quests where a character in the town will ask for an item, and she's like, get me a refined quartz, easy enough, I have, like, 30 of them, whatever, I'll give it, you know, whatever, and I went to go give it to her, and I gave her the ancient seed by accident, and I was like, well, gotta restart this, so I lost the entire day's worth of progress, I was so pissed. Classic. Speaking of funny stories, though, actually, I was playing No Man's Sky. Don't shoot freighters or freight ships or whatever containers in space. Um, Because I don't know. I was trying to, like, land on one or something. Like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to shoot at it for its resources. I shot at it, and I was pretty much in a 20. shoot the asteroids. Um, Yeah, I I got some dope-ass medals. Uh, And then I was pretty much in a 20-minute airspace battle, which was very fun. Uh, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I got to get away from these guys trying to go into uh, warp speed. Couldn't because, you know, enemies are in the area. Land on a planet. Um, like, go, like, close to the planet. U-turn. Shoot the guy um, while I'm on the planet. And then kind of stay on the planet oh. to hide out away from the other guys that were chasing me. Um, and I'm like, damn. This I love- is like that No Man's Sky type, like, uh, natural stories. Yeah, you. I love when you uh, you could do kind of like the wanted uh, the wanted rating thing with GTA where you just get a bunch of sentinels coming at you and then you just leave the planet and it's yeah. just like, yeah. they just leave you alone once you leave. Oh, I was um, in a sticky situation. A bunch of like uh, these like hostile, like the first time I've ever seen a hostile animal, there were like eight of them and they were all surrounded me like, oh my god I am literally dead right now. I jump in my ship my ship has not enough uh, launch fuel and I don't have the resources to make more and I'm just sitting just in my ship, in ship while animals are attacking the ship. I'm like it, it can't break, so it's just like, ooh, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> just, just hide out until they leave. Yeah, uh, nice. So coming in hot, actually, because I booted up Fortnite real quick just while we're uh, uh, talking about it. 
Uh, Playground limited time mode it has been updated. Uh, it says updated and upgraded. Squad up and select teams to battle it out or just let your creativity run wild on your own private island. Uh, so that's like their Minecraft mode, but with PvP, I guess, optionally. Uh, and then also celebrate Fortnite's first birthday. Now that's like save the world Fortnite is what they're celebrating, not Battle Royale. Battle Royale came up much later. so But I guess they're doing... Um, and it's still not free. Yes, yeah, uh, summer's getting close. It's half off. It is half off. Uh, there's uh, birthday challenges where I guess you can earn a birthday cake, backpack, bling. Oh yeah, and that's right. More. They said it would be free in the summer, right? Yep, and it's still, uh, still summer. So, um, but save the world. See, my friend gifted it to me because if you bought one of the more expensive versions of the founders pack, oh, you no, get co- you get codes to give. Um, he bought like the eighty dollars version, and so it gave him a code to give to a friend, and so I got it. So I got a bunch of like founders pack skins for for battle royale. So it's cool. Did you get to play that yet? Save the world? I mean, I played it back when it launched. Oh, okay. On a, I had it on Xbox, but the code translates to PC, so if I want to play it on PC, I can. And if, I don't know if they're going to bring it to Switch, but if they bring Save the World to Switch, it would count for that, too. Another reason why PS4 is dropping the ball. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> okay, you, I, I don't know why you would rather fi- financially, be financially. Financially, they're pretty good. Um, oh, fuck off, you know what quick, I mean. <laughs> uh, quick thing. Oh, uh, the there's a game that I want to play, and um, there's a sale. If you're listening to the podcast today, meaning when the launch is Friday of the 27th or till the 31st of July, GameStop has a sale for Shadow of War for 20 bucks, and you get the season pass. So if you want to play that game, now, now that to- they fixed it, you gotta go in store and and. Um, and get it for twenty bucks, and you'll get the season pass. Now to clarify, because um, people were kind of confused, because on PSN it listed as the expansion pass, not the season pass. It's the same thing because there's no yeah. loot boxes anymore. So the season pass is, is the, the, the DLC pass, basically. Yeah. So um, I just picked it up for like thirty bucks on Steam. So it's like, oh, cool! I spent an extra ten dollars, but I have it on Steam, which it looks better and runs better on, on my PC. Probably, so. but I got the same. But, uh, but if I didn't get it, if I didn't get it. On Steam a couple weeks ago, I, I would I would have got this on PS4. So I want to go back and hopefully fix, so I could actually go through the fucking game, finish the game, because I want to. But it is not time to go through Shadow of the War, cause it is time for the Alder Report. Are there will be some new? There are items on the list. <laughs> A captain's cow. <laughs> Yo, do you um, listen to Ailstorm? You should listen to Ailstorm. It's like a pirate I, metal no, band. They, they are literally pirate. Yeah, I, I like pirate pirates, metal. bro. My, my, so my favorite franchise, probably in my top 10, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Ooh, Yo. Love them. Love it. Especially the first, those first three. Those first three were yeah, great. Yeah, exactly. But let's get into the stories, not the podcast. Um, speaking about me. movies, uh, Marvel's Spider-Man, <laughs> um, okay, PlayStation 4 Pro <laughs> Bundle. Have you guys seen this one? This is the all red um, and all red PS4 Pro with the white Spider-Man logo uh, front and center. Um, take a look at it online. Uh, I mean, really, listeners, that's like the, the logo. It's nice color red with white spider uh, you guys, thumbs up or thumbs down on this I like th- I like the PS4. I wish it was matte instead of glossy. I just don't like glossy consoles. They scratch really easy. Um, but I like the design. I do not like the controller. Ooh, I like the controller way more. Um, See, I don't, I, I, don't, I, don't console... I don't like that it's red with the white, like, joy. I don't, I don't know. I'm not feeling Wait, it. Wait, the controller has blue on it, right? I'm thinking this. No, uh, the controller was just red and white, I thought. I um, could be mistaken. I thought it was just red and white. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to net you $400. Uh, you get yeah, dude, one I don't, terabyte it's, PS4 Pro. It's red and white. It's fine. Um, Looks fine. I don't get it. What, the system? No, the controller. It's just a the red controller, and instead of the and the buttons are just, just like white. It. I don't know. I just don't it looks I'm right. allowed to not like it. The fuck? No, you're um, not, bro. I wish. Does it come with the game? <laughs> yes. Okay, so it comes with the game, and it comes with um, DLC, digital content. I'm not sure which. Ooh, that's uh, a really good deal. For the price of a normal PS4 Pro, you get all the, you get the game and the DLC. That's, like, a really good deal. Yeah, I forgot who said it in the uh, Facebook group, but someone mentioned, um, like, oh, why is it a Pro? Oh, and okay. I think yeah. it makes a lot of sense, you know. Uh, hey, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I that's read all the I comics. Yeah. I'm, I don't really play that many video games, but why would someone holy not shit, want a, a Spider-Man... 
uh, video no, game. No, it, it wasn't that. The question, what? the question was that uh, why was it only the pro in the United States and then Europe it was the slim? That was the question. Oh, uh, interesting. That makes that would make more sense. Well, I mean, like, they do have different um, like business teams, so it could just be yeah. the trends that the American uh, like I think uh, in SEA sees, you know, like like I, I responded to that post, and I'm like, they're pushing the pro, and it's going forward, the pro is gonna be better than Slim, and probably like a year or whatever. So, for the cost of the console. And getting the game, and it's, it's just it's just more powerful. And if you want to showcase the game, it's just better. Yeah, so and this is definitely going to be a lot of. Th- I think this is going to sell more as a first PS4. Uh, yeah. Than it is than, a than a rebuy. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, I agree. So that's cool. Spider Man cannot wait. Ooh, that new trailer also came out of Comic Con. Um, see, I'm trying Sable to just kind of stay uh, radio silent, kind of like how I was yeah. with God of War, where it's like I'm sold on the game. I don't want to see any more of it. Um, That's just but me yeah, personally. Dude, whew, that game looks good. Uh, next up from IGN, uh, Gorilla is expanding, mm-hmm. uh, pretty much getting a new office going from two fi- so uh, office that could hold two fifty people to now four hundred permanent employees. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn, you know, came out a year and a half ago, uh, so I feel like they could be either working on a new IP or not a new IP, uh, two games, pretty much. Is what I was gonna say. So I think there's they, room they, to be working on two games. Yeah, they w- they want. I guess they were talking about that uh, Horizon Zero Dawn took like six years and a half to uh, produce, like to make, and they want to pretty much just make two games in that time. Yeah, they want to. I mean, with four hundred people, it's pretty much double. I mean, I think they're gonna be able to uh, do that. Yeah, definitely that. figure out. Well, the other thing too is if they're dog. making a sequel to Horizon, they have a lot of assets now. You know what I mean? They don't have to build and it from I'm the putting ground. Putting my up money. Anymore. And right they have now, Decima. They, they're more comfortable with Decima now, too. So. Kill zone there, there's going to be another kill zone before Horizon. I don't know. I'm still putting my money on that. I could see a multiplayer-only kill zone. I don't, I don't see them doing a full-scale single-player kill zone with multiplayer and Horizon. I could see... Or the opposite. I could see single-player-only kill zone. I could see that. No, I, I think it's going to be multiplayer, multiplayer-only, and it's going to be like a game-as-a-service. Like, they're just going like to keep 30 bucks supporting it. Yeah. And that's going to come when the PS5 comes Didn't out. work for Lawbreak. Funny... <laughs> Money done right now. Uh, we'll have to see, but yeah, congrats, uh, Herman Holtz and team. The yeah, that's awesome. I was yeah. just thinking about uh, uh, Gorilla the other day too. I don't remember why, but I was thinking about uh, Gorilla and Horizon. So awesome job! Uh, that Horizon itself is phenomenal. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Killzone games, at least two and three, um, and and uh, Mercenary Shadow War. I really, I've never played Killzone one. I should give that a try. Yeah, I never played Killzone One either because it was a PS2 game, and then I never played it when it like when they remastered it. They remastered it, but it came very late. It was very different. It wasn't like it wasn't like the ADS Call of Duty kind of shooter that we were used to with two and three. Yeah, I think it was combating um, Halo at the time. Uh, Halo Two, if I recall. From Game Informer by Matt Burtz, James Olin, former Bioware senior creative director, squashed rumors claiming publisher EA made the creators of Knights of the Old Republic and the Mass Effect series Bioware. Um, develop Anthem as a service-based multiplayer adventure shooter, uh, that developer said. I think one of the things about Bioware has been really good at... What? I think one of the things about Bioware has been really good at it, which has allowed it to survive for more than two decades, is taking risks and trying new and different things. He calls Anthem a chance to do something a little different. Um, he pretty much just goes on to say that, no, we wanted to it make a game choice. like this. Yeah, pretty it was much. their choice. We wanted to make the game like this. It's not EA uh, putting their foot on us and saying make this a service game, um, which is cool. You know, I mean, I feel like there are a couple. A creative st- you know, th- there's been people saying like, "Hey, EA isn't telling us to do this. We did this because we want." Like even uh, Joseph Ferris, I know it's <laughs> not in house because uh, w- what's the studio name? I can't remember. Um, you'll say it, and uh, I'll remember it immediately. I something can't light. Uh, uh, he's like, hey, hey, yes. Um, and even he was like, "Hey, like, yeah, like some like they used to be kind of shitty, but." They actually helped us out a lot with this game, and I feel like there's a lot of developers that f- feel like they kind of almost like need to defend me. Not maybe not defend is the, maybe defend is the wrong word. I but think like, kind of sticking up for. EA, I mean, they're you know defending I mean? it right now just because of the debacle of um, Star Wars. Uh, what's it, well, the second one? Uh, Battlefront. Battlefront Two. Right? Yeah. Because of that, like it yeah. feels like EA push all that on dice. And it probably was maybe Dice took the decision to do that instead of EA, 
So they're probably defending them because of that. Yeah, I mean, especially all the other rumors that come out about the other studios and stuff. It's not out of uh, nowhere to think that EA is making Bioware do this, but I guess in this case, he's saying Bioware, at, at least us. At I'm least sure us it's Bioware, a compromise. We're good, you know. Yeah. Um, Somewhere so in cool. the middle. They meet in the middle. Anthem. Once again, I got to play it at E3 and uh, get excited. I, I yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm Jeff excited for it, but I'm also pissed off that it's coming out the same day as Division Two. So, we'll hey see. Jeffrey, we'll see. Yeah. Hey, Jeffrey, uh, I know Treyarch announced the limited mystery box edition for uh, Black Ops 4. Uh, are you going to buy it? And the, are you getting it day one? It's such a, 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 a moral quandary, I guess I could say. Um, I have it pre-ordered on Amazon, but it's Amazon. They don't charge you until the day of, so I mean, I could cancel it So you pre-order already. Uh, so you got pre the pre-order. A, a, a tentative. A tentative pre-order is and in you're place for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And you're Amazon Prime member, right? Of course. So you're um, getting the 20% discount, right? No, they don't do that on collector's editions anymore. They oh, really? Yeah, That's oh, why it does. I'm Ooh. just saying. Yeah, I know. Well, GCU's well. <laughs> gone, so not anymore for me. Um, well, I mean, I still have it, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I waver back and forth because it has all these tchotchkes in it, like uh, a pop socket, a thousand-piece mm -hmm. puzzle. Um which is like, ooh, these are like cool little things, you know. Um, the Juggernaug edition for Black Ops it's garbage. came out with like coasters, which is cool. Juggernaug, it's yeah. garbage. It's gonna disappear like in a month or less. Um, I know. I mean, yeah, and that's the, thing. the real quandary. For You'll me find is, it on sale for like eighty dollars a month afterwards. I, I mean, hey, how low could uh, Destiny uh, Two Collector's Edition go? It's now $50 at fifty-three, right now. I think. Um, yep. But yeah, I mean, it's my big issue. Honestly, is the Black Ops. It's, it's for the big fans like you, like zombie fans, like you are that is going to spend that money to get it true true but i normally pass on the collector's editions that like don't really serve a purpose so like uh black did ops you 2, get the black ops 2 the juggernaut edition that, that no, was it black ops 2 or black ops 3 i got the black ops 3 fridge because yo uh, i could defend Stupid. the fridge you know hey, it, it makes things cold <laughs> are you still room. using it um no it broke. didn't it break yeah, it was yeah. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> i like how you do um but this is just a box and it's like hmm that's i that's a tough sell a box for a design that i have no real attachment to because it's it's a mystery box of the new mystery box i don't know why they didn't just didn't do the I, old I, one if it was the old I, one I that was what i was gonna say in a second if it was the old wooded mystery box with the yellow question marks ooh, daddy um yeah, but I yeah, I mean, Talk no, my me. issue right now is really, am I going to support this Black Ops pass? Uh, it's, I think it's that's like, the big issue right there. At the end of the day, it's a game like that's feel. just multiplayer and zombies <laughs> and a, a battle royale mode. We'll see. Um, but like, you're telling me my sixty dollars isn't enough for that? That you need to charge me another forty dollars? Like, in what world? You know, I guess when you every other here. game is giving free content updates, they're still charging money for for stuff that. They haven't even revealed and, it. And, it, yeah, and I mean, it's because there's people like yourself, Jeffrey. If you get the fucking box, there's going to be like, oh, they just, they still want it. They got it. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I'm totally aware of uh, of that and, now. And you have, when they announced it, that they're like having defending. the season pass. They have the season pass. And you got the whatever's left of the uh, YouTube um, cut players that still post uh, cut videos they're talking shit about it and then a week later they announced like hey buy the digital edition or whatever and Deluxe, play on these yeah. maps and there you go all of them fucking bought it and they're making videos about it and it's like oh it's still crappy but hey i gotta make content i'm like no bro like if you're actually not on not you don't want to support it don't buy it like that's well, I mean, the problem. It, well, that, that that's different because like if literally YouTubers like they making living, they're making their living, and like they need yeah, to make content. Yeah, I get content, it, but you like, can't be talking shit and then uh, buy it, show it, and then like oh nobody's oh, Jeff playing does that it. every time. Nobody <laughs> all the time. Like, Jeff nobody's will playing about it. And buy it. Nobody's playing it, so I can't make videos. Like no shit. Um, yeah, like, no, if that, you don't that, want to support it, because are you gonna? Uh, we're gonna tie this into Destiny because we have to. Are you gonna buy that stupid fucking year pass on top of? The uh, that, Forsaken DLC? That, you, you know he is. That's you know thing. he yeah, is. That, I'm, ha I'm having the same issue, uh, the same like indeci indecision uh, with that as I and am with uh, the Call of Duty thing. Because it's like, once again, it's I'm I'm paying up front for like, things I don't know just because that's how you're bundled. It's, it's, it's deceitful, kind of, in a way, you know? 
because you can't right now you can't buy the annual pass to load and that's just like don't hold that against me don't make me pay up front for something that you haven't shown it's I don't know I, it feels wrong really it's because the game wasn't fucking done yeah it wasn't uh, so done. I, I'm okay. And I'm okay. I'm okay with paying forty dollars for Forsaken. I'm okay with that. It, it's the that's the, yeah. See, I'm yeah after. I'm I'm the guy that'll probably buy the Forsaken DLC, but not get the. I'm database. not. I'm not giving them any more fucking money. They they burn me, and I'm done with fucking Destiny. Um, you didn't even yes, play the Destiny Switch. Three. Destiny Three comes out. It's fucked. I am not paying fucking money for that. I don't know if we're gonna get a Destiny Three at this point. Yeah, I no. That, they, that's, I think that's they know. Question. I think they know they should just keep adding to this. But uh, thanks for bringing up Destiny because a new news just actually got announced. They showed their new roadmap, which is actually very interesting uh, because Destiny 2 uh, Patch 2.0 is coming out a week before Forsaken comes out on August 28th. And that patch is going to include the weapon slot changes. So that's going to like rechange all the heavies and where shotguns and rocket launchers go. Um, milestone and challenge updates, director updates, heroic story missions, bulk shader deletion. Hilarious. Uh, and uh, 500 uh, vault space. Um, but the weapon slot changes, that's a huge thing coming out a week before Forsaken. I feel like that might just be so they have more time to test it out, you know, so it's not <clears throat> coming out with all the other huge updates of Forsaken. But um, that's good. That's cool stuff. That's a piece of news for you. Moving on to other update news. A new update has come to Metal Gear Solid Five, adding Quiet to the FOB online missions. Um, this is actually the first update that came out this year. Um, so, interesting, I mean, uh, I wonder if they're just gonna try and turn this into a games of service instead of making a new Metal Gear. I mean, they did make a new Metal Gear, it's called Survive, and it's like 12 bucks. No, but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but I'm saying. Uh, But is it enough for people to go back to the game? That's a question. I mean, Metal Gear Online has diehard fans. Like, uh, Garrett Hunter of Mega64, he still, like, streams every night. Listen, this game, hours of Metal Gear. I mean... It, I think gameplay wise is like almost perfect, right? According to oh, the game, the game is amazing from a gameplay standpoint. I fucking love gameplay, this game. Gameplay, stories. Fucking I've been stupid. I've been itching to it's play it for a while. Will this get you back into it? Quiet. It, yeah, yeah, that's that's um, it I mean, I don't know if it's going to get me back into it, but I'll play it. Yeah, definitely check that out. Um, okay, so just uh, just just a heads up. Um, trying to fuck around with Paladins on Switch because it just dropped us free to play, and uh, didn't pop up the uh, the champion screen so I couldn't actually pick a character at the beginning of a match so that's cool also oh, you're playing instead of uh, doing well, the podcast, I figure right? I figure very, check it out while we're you know live very attentive Anthony very attentive next up Ugh. nice should not have started that one before that um NBA Playgrounds 2 has a new name, a new release date, and a new publisher. 2K Games announced today that it is now publishing NBA Playgrounds 2 as NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. A lot of teasers in that name. Fucking stupid. So um, stupid. Releasing they, they on didn't, PlayStation 4, the, Switch, Xbox One, and yeah. PC later this and year. And it's coming later this year. So I guess I think the game was supposed to come out in May. And yeah, they it, it, it got delayed it a got week delayed. before. It, it got out. delayed. I think it's because 2K... Um, yeah, 100. I, I obviously got picked them up, but they have they didn't announce until yeah. This game's fucked. I guess this week. This game's fucked. Two K is gonna ruin it. I c- no. I could. What? Uh, okay, okay. Shut the fuck down, bro. You don't even like two K. The, the main two K. What are you talking about? Let me. Let, can I? Can I talk? All right, go ahead. Okay, Playground Two was a solid like seven and a half, right? I think the Medicare is like seven point two or something like that. The game was, it, it is fun. It had, like, a couple, like, gameplay issues or whatever. Like, it, it could get better. The game is already fucking done, dude. I know, but they're going to they're gonna add a fuck ton of microtransactions to it. Like, how gonna, do you know that? They're going to add, dude. How do you know 2K. that? If it, do- why are you being such a fucking devil's advocate? Talk to me when the game I'm comes out and tell me I'm wrong. I'm just trying to support the actual fucking game, bro. All right. We'll I'm, I'm not, I'm not pairing it to I feel 2K, bad for, I mean. The actual game, like NBA 2K. I, like I don't feel bad. It's gonna it's the end same up people that ruined 2K. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the game's done already. The fucking game's done. Why do you think it got delayed then? If it's done, why did it get delayed? That could just okay. be packaging stuff. It, and, it could know. be packaging stuff. Not it could that be long. like actually them able to get licensed. There's fucking, no uh, there's people. no date on it now. It just says later this year. If they said okay, it's being delayed okay. a month and a half. I, I can okay, get it. two months. I can get it. It didn't have players. The first game didn't have players because they couldn't afford paying them. Something that 2K already has, yes, and they could be adding those players in the fucking game. All right, so uh, shut listen. the fuck down with your tone. All right, listen. All Give I'm saying is that Give NBA shot, 2K Playgrounds right? 2 is the most stupid name I've ever heard. 
But it, you NBA know what 2K do, Playgrounds bro. 2 <clears throat> sounds so stupid. I mean, it is. It's, it's stupid. But like the first game, it was like, oh, it doesn't have this player. It doesn't have this player from like the old times. And like, oh, I want to like, I wish they had it. And it's probably with this deal, they're going to be able to pick them up. Hey, like, I'm, I just, see- I'm just sitting here waiting for NBA Street <clears throat> Volume 4. Next up, we have Fortnite hey. has... Maybe it, it, could the gameplay could change to that. No. I mean, ho- hopefully EA. You don't have to make a new spend, game. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? I need. <laughs> there um, you go. You just made my fucking Mario game. back in my AI games. Uh, Fortnite has helped make Epic Games worth up to eight billion dollars. No surprises here. Fortnite's uh, making a shitload I, of money. I, I mean. brought this up, uh, or uh, like fucking a couple hours before. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was this year. I guess it is this year because the game launched. Like, it's not even a, like the. Battle Royale, they've been, what, launched, it's for like nine months since the launch, right? Around there? It was like October-ish. Okay. And I made the comparison that last year NBA, the actual league NBA, oh. made a, a revenue $7.4 billion. So in less than a year, you could, they made pretty much a billion. Wait, no, this but is such fake news. It's this not is such fake billion. News. You saw it? It's, it's, yeah. it's worth it. It's an that, evaluation. That it's an evaluation between oh, five and eight billion. Five and uh, eight. Okay, that's, that's but they put different. up to this is yeah. This was such a dumb, yeah. Forget we that's, even brought that's, this up. That's no, um, I, I thought it, it's interesting. It's, it's interesting, no, it's, but we don't have any solid Fortnite numbers on it though. Is helping Epic to fucking like if they want to sell Epic, they could probably get a billion fucking dollars because does uh, Epic have any hand Fortnite. in gears anymore, or is it just no. that it's running? Other, the, other than that, the run yeah, it's just running engine is the only thing. Interesting. Ahead of Rocket League's big summer changes, like the coming introduction of Rocket Pass, developer Cyanix today pulled back the curtain on how crate and key drops work. Um, are they? Does it work well or work bad? I don't it, see it pretty much is. It show it like if you go to the article or whatever, um, it shows all the drops and the chances that you're able um, to pull. It tells you so it exact tells percentages. You the, the percentages, yes, Ooh. it does. That, guy, that is good. Is this that the first game to do that of this size? Nah, like, for, like first of, game of this here caliber. in the Overwatch. United States. Or, in the United States, I think it is. In China, you have in China, to. China, they have to. Yeah, that's the thing. So, yeah, that's what like, I meant. In, in open to everyone. Yes, it is. It uh, is the that's first awesome. Game. Wow, good shit, Psyonix. And they just had that whole three year end of a birthday party at um at Comic Con or something at some baseball something field like I think. that. Yeah, at Padres. Uh, like they're drink- being really open to like with the community, which is fucking awesome. I oh wish yeah. More people start... If they want to keep their fucking loot boxes in some of the games, they should start doing this. Um, no, Psyonix is dope. Rocket League is dope. I've been on. I've said I've played Super Rocket Battle. Robo and Cars. Only cosmetics. Way back in. Yeah, uh, it's always only been cosmetics. And, uh, and I like fucking Call of Duty. Um, Drinkbox Studios Guacamelee 2 is coming to PC, PS4 on August 21st I'm, for nineteen ninety nine. excited for this. I want to get it when it comes yeah. out. I played um, the, the the first one when it was free for plus. Yeah, I never beat the first one, but I really enjoyed it. I got stuck somewhere and I couldn't figure yeah, it out. Yeah, so same. I, just I gave never. Up. <laughs> but I wanted to figure it out, but I couldn't. I was like, "Fuck!" Oh well, I just gave up. But I really liked it. Yeah, it really I mean, good. hopefully this price point means it's a longer game because I do remember I did beat Guacamelee one. Uh, it was a little on the short side. I think it was around eight hours, six hours. That's still not that That's bad. Not what was bad, the first though. one? Twenty five bucks. Yeah. No, no. I think That's the first one was like fifteen or something. Uh, oh, okay. it, was, it was definitely indie priced. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought, okay. I thought, I thought you were same. saying it was it was more. So yeah. I, I misunderstood you. Okay. Oh. If if it's still around the same uh, length time, dude, it's fine, dude. No, I'm saying it's more like, money. What? So I hopefully it's uh, yeah. I get way, what you're saying. It seems like they added a lot of content to it, like from when they yeah, revealed it at the. the what well, was that? The PSX uh, pre-show or was it at um, uh, Paris? I don't know. It was those two shows. It was in one of the pre-shows. They were so close together, like three months. Um, next up, another news: uh, the Fallout 76 beta break it early test application. I like how they always do the acronyms. Uh, Bethesda uh, will begin in October, and Bethesda will be selecting people who have pre-ordered the game from a participating retailer. Uh, interesting wording there, but um, yeah, so it's not yeah. gonna be people that only everyone. pre-ordered it's it from just, GameStop or something. Yeah. Um, have you pre-ordered? Because I know uh, I, I have no interest in this game. I didn't. I really? didn't pre-order it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe I should give it an Amazon pre-order because I could cancel. But like to try it code. out. See yeah, if you yeah. get maybe I'll move my Hitman Two pre-order to this because I'm not planning on actually paying that up. 
So I maybe mean, you could. I'll be like, it, hey, I have him and two pre-ordered. Can you just move that I mean, pre-order to Fallout 76? Order it, and even on Best Buy, back, Anthony, yeah. and then you get the code, and then just and cancel, cancel it. it yeah, after. that's true. Do they send? Do they email you the code, or you have to do it in store? Yeah, they email you the code. Okay, after. maybe I'll do that. When you pre-order, when you pre-order, you gotta do it quick because if you pre-order like today, it's gonna take like two, three days before you actually get the code. Oh, okay. So don't I wait. Really, like the day. I really off. hope they don't. I mean, we said this a hundred times. So I don't want to repeat it, but I really hope they don't focus on workshop, like the building in this game. It just. Oh, they they definitely will. That'd be so stupid. I'm just not. I don't know. I don't play those games to. I don't know. I yeah. play those games because they're so lonely. You know, like I know that sounds emo, but like so you don't want to play true, with like, friends now. No, I'm cool with playing with friends. I just don't like the building of the game. Either way, uh, we've definitely hopped on that a shitload. Um, in a back-to-back, in an insane day of updates, you had the No Man's Sky update, you had the Fortnite update. Earlier this Tuesday, we had both the and GTA Online. And the game that Online, just won't go the fuck away. <laughs> um, and Overwatch update. The GTA Online things, right? update was After Hours, added uh, Gay Tony and nightclubs and stuff. Yeah. Uh, there was a great line in uh, in that trailer where it's like, uh, it was like Gay Tony says something. Like someone says, asks uh, Gay Tony something like, hey, you can't say that anymore. It's a different time. He's like, ah, fuck you. Um, um, but yeah, I still have no idea how the fuck people have fun in GTA Online. Like, I've tried it so many times, and I just don't Yeah, we just, it. like, all three of us tried to get into it. We just were like, what the uh, fuck do we do? I'm, I'm, I'm like, I just don't know what to do other than just play a random game. I think it's just because we don't know where to start. I think that's what yeah. it is. But, but like, even know. then, it just seems the, like it's just you just play random modes. You know what I mean? Like you just yes. like you just queue into random stuff. There's right, there's must be something where it's like it's, it's here because it's so I do feel like no, I hear I saw, a lot of people in the industry say like I don't know what the fuck to do in GTA Online. Yeah, but that kid's playing it. I saw the trailer, and they ha- they do a great fucking job in every fucking trailer yep. that comes out for like the expansions Doomsday of this. One, that. that they make it look it, awesome, you, and it then look, you don't know what the like, fuck to do. It, when it looks like it's a story, like yes. a story DLC. Well, there are like, missions looks, in, in multiplayer. I know, so. but it looks like it's part of the like That's actual it, game, like uh, not yeah, the gotcha, online gotcha. part. Well, until even they, like at the end, um, it's like, oh, on the line, GTA Online. I'm like, what's his name? The guy that you. Franklin's friends with at the beginning of the game. Can't remember yeah, his name. The Lamar? Leroy. Lamar, yeah, Lamar, Lamar. Lamar. Because he has like He's, his own like set of sto- like yeah, missions. Story. In. Like, so there it's are like, cutscenes also. There are cutscenes. That's what I'm saying. I think they kind of turn their expansions into the online part. So you got to just play the online, but like play a private server so no I would but I don't like to deal with the people that in the fucking game no, no that's the, that's the thing is if you, you can make your own private server in GTA and just play by yourself yeah but even then Anthony to do the cool stuff like the doomsday heist and stuff it's like you oh well you have to have a, a building with three parking lots and two different flight air it's like chill out yeah, um, and then and then the other update, uh, Overwatch is Wrecking Ball uh, the hamster guy I actually got to play it's with finally him I played him a little bit live too. Right, um, for and console, he for is live in the public, in the, yeah. At, in the, oh, yeah, okay. the main game, yeah. In the, yeah, for everyone on all consoles. Um, he's fun. I, I enjoy him. Uh, there's he feels uh, kind of like a lawbreakers character, which I love about him. Yeah, I can see that. Um, but in the in the no limits mode, everyone's him. Yeah, yeah. It was it was map. like it was just it was wrecking balls and junk rats when I was. Playing. This is was this is one map where it's like a pillar in the middle of the control zone. Uh, and it's literally everyone, like, five freaking hamster just balls. Just spinning around. Uh, spinning around the one thing and just trying to hit each other, but, like, is an inch behind. It's very funny. Uh, so, check out No Limits, uh, so this week to get your hamster balls. Uh, I got a confession. Um, what's that? hamsters? I picked up, uh, Overwatch. Whoa! No, you, did not. no, you did not. You're lying. And, uh, nah, I'm <laughs> fucking with you guys. What the fuck do you guys think? I'm a nerd? Speaking, yeah. of, speaking of Overwatch, though, I do just want to chime in. I did just try a, uh, a match of Paladins uh, on Switch, and despite the menus running super jank, the game runs really good on Switch. Like, I can't believe how good it runs on Switch, so I'll play pretty cool. Game. So if you have a Switch, check it out. It's free. Um, um, yes, oh, there you quick, have. Got? quick story real quick. That oh, com- it's coming in hot. News, it's coming in hot. News. If you're thinking of getting... The next WWE game, which is uh, WWE 2K19, right? 2K19, yep. They announced uh, the Ric Flair collection, which is cool. But in a uh, uh, games industry, that biz uh, interview or whatever, they talked to the president, and he did mention that they want to like pretty much they talked to Trump? overhaul, overhaul the whole game, like put investment on it. So we might. It might go back to how, you know, the golden age, in my opinion. Like, the early uh, SmackDown. I doubt it, too, but I'm hoping. I, they just need but, to make a new engine. The game looks like shit. It just looks bad. It looks like a PS3 game. I'm, dude, 2K17 um, looked 
really good. It's just like the lighting that they did, like the effects and shit like that. Like it made it look worse. Yeah, I don't know. 17 we'll looked fine to me. Yeah, if, if they came with an arcade wrestling game today. I thought I'd, 16 I'd looked it. like shit too, but That's I didn't true. play 17, so. Um, but there you have it. That's the, the worse, news but... this week. Tons of new games that you probably own have updates. Check them out. Whether it's No Man's Sky, Fortnite, GTA, Overwatch, all your games are changing. It's the um, update uh, week. The week of updates, right? In the middle yeah. of July. What a time. Nothing um, came out really this week. By game boys? Or what? That was a segue, by the way. Well, oh, I was actually going to introduce it a little stupid. differently. <laughs> so we're changing the drop. We're changing the name now. Uh, since we have a, we release on Friday, we're going to call it the Weekend Playlist. And this weekend's playlist for the weekend of July 24th through 27th is Aces of the Luftwaff Squadron PS4 Digital, Airheart Tales of Broken Wings, Banner what? Saga 3, Banner Saga Trilogy, PS4 Digital and Retail, Bud Spencer and Terrence Hill Slaps and Beans, PS4 what? Digital. Yeah, that that is, that is a lot, guys. Dude, this that looks like you ever. Do you remember those? Um, what were those things called? You get them from the vending machine, like the fucking bowling alley. What Ooh. the fuck were they called? Um, oh, the little. Yeah. So like they're like the little stupid little the, figures. What the fuck were they called? Homies. 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 This looks like homies. The game. Miguel, did you ever take any offense from homies? Not really. Uh, look at those. Those are like like those homies cannot exist. I just thought they were today. stupid, but. Well, did, did you ever like play the game? No, I, there was a game. Oh uh, no, I, I guess that's probably uh, uh, you past your time. Homies are, you are pretty much these little two-inch minifigs you'd get yeah, from like yeah, fifty yeah. cents machines, and you would line one up, uh, and then the other player, uh, like five feet away from you, would lie his down and flick it at yours, and the goal was to knock your homie down. So like you would try getting hurt like a that... bitch. No, that you're thinking racist, that, no, that's a that's like a totally different game. Well, that was like the game with the little blob monsters. What are you talking about? Yeah, you could you play that game with fucking any toy. But <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> we play, we, okay. We I thought you were homies. saying that was like a like okay. All right. Oh no no Speaking no. Speaking no, of I which, mean, just, just real quick before we move on, because you said homies and it made me think of ICP. Remember backyard wrestling? Like the yes. game where it was like just the hardcore fucking like beating the shit out of people with like like legit weapons and shit, and like you can maim people. It was awesome. Those I remember backyard sports, the backyard baseball games, backyard basketball, football. Was it um, was it called backyard wrestling? It was like hardcore. I don't know. It was, it was the game with ICP. And it was a wrestling game. It was fun. Next up, we have a candle, the power of the flame, PS4 digital. What? Detached PSVR digital. Now, I actually saw a trailer for this, and this game looks cool. So check out Detached. Detached. Um, game Tengoku, Cruise and Mix, PS4 digital. What? <laughs> Gnome's Garden Why are you 3, doing PS4 that? digital. <laughs> Um, what? Oh, that was a big game. Uh, Hello Neighbor, PS4 Digital Retail. Hello Neighbor Neighbor is a stealth horror game about sneaking into your neighbor's house to figure out what horrible secrets he's hiding this in the basement. Be, this has been out in something else, right? I think PC I think it's an, in like an early yeah. access okay, state, yeah, if yeah. I recall. It reminds me of... Uh, the, just the, just the, the cover art just reminds me of uh, We Happy Few. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, the amount of We Happy Few yeah. ads I've been getting is insane. Uh... On all my videos. Mega Man 10 Legacy Collection 1 and 2, PS4 Digital okay. Retail. Um, these are all the Mega Man X games, of course. Narcosis, PS4 Digital, what? The Persistence. I stopped because I doubt it's annoying me. <laughs> no, I'm doing it for every game that had the, it's just like a uh, really it's stupid game. fucking, fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, know, the but it is kind of, like, <laughs> yeah. you gotta remember <laughs> people are listening all to this, it. though. Um, the Persistence PSVR Digital, this actually looked pretty cool. It's like a Bioshock, kind of System Shock, uh, First person space VR game. I'm getting system um, shock vibes from the from the artwork. Yeah. Phil's Epic Phil Picks Adventure, PS4, <laughs> PS Vita Digital. <laughs> what the What? Fuck? What the fuck? Exactly. Is this? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna vet these lists for now on. Um Remothered Tormented Fathers, PS4 <laughs> what? Digital. The sea artwork memories, looks cool, PS4. but it's probably not good. Uh, train, train Sim World <laughs> VR Obot or like V Robot. It's a like oh, PSVR game. Digital. Jesus, VR um, Robot. I, I don't know. Yeah, what? I don't know. We we just throw anything on the store these days. But I guess Mega Man and Hello Neighbor are the pick of the weeks. And Banner. Um, I mean, at, le at least we don't have uh, like an eShop. Those fucking girls pretty much naked. Dude, there's legit remember. like softcore porn on the on the eShop now. So it's I insane. mean, there you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is very odd. But yeah, there are your weekend games. Um, Yo, it's also Shark Week, but it's also at the end of the week, so I hope you DVR'd it. Ooh, damn. Oh, Shark Week's I happening right now? That. Shark Week I is watch. happening right now. It's been going on since in Monday, the, bro. In the moment of recording? Oh, damn, I have not seen a single shark. Um, Guy Fieri had Guy Fieri's... What was it called? F- uh, feeding f- Guy Fieri's Feeding Frenzy. It was awesome. I fucking love it. Does he just give sharks, like, food he makes? Dude, he, like, fed the sharks, like, the giant... They call them, like, the chumsicles, where it's, like, giant, like, frozen, like, barrels of chum. He fed them that and then went in the water. <laughs> like, Guy Fieri's insane. Like, he's... I did not expect him to be doing that shit, so... It was awesome. Very interesting. And we had a new segment that we'd plug here in the works. Are we gonna do it now, or yes, save that for next week? Well, I mean, we do have it. to do it anyway. Well, hold on. Which, which segment are you talking about? The one the, that's uh, on the dock? No, not the one that's on the dock. The no, okay, segment. not yet, not yet, then, not yet. Ooh, listeners, there's a secret segment coming up next week. Ooh, oh, aren't what you excited? Be? Just because we're not prepared for it, so I don't want to be like, hey, fair this enough, is the thing. Enough. We don't know what we're gonna say. So, uh, yeah, new segment next week. New, yeah. New get stuff hype. next week. Get hype. Got hype. some Let's fun stuff in the works, so uh, stay tuned. <laughs> get high. Get high. <laughs> nice. Let's read the segment on the If you choose to do that. Uh, yeah, so now it is time for CQC, which is Community Questions Corner. If you're a Metal Gear fan, you'll appreciate that one. So uh, first question comes from Joel Campos via his Twitter, at Campos63. And he says, do you think Ninja Theory being acquired by Xbox had an impact on the exclusion of Hellblade coming to PSVR? So uh, just some background info. Hellblade... Uh, it was announced that Hellblade is getting a VR mode for Oculus and Vive on Steam. Now, my thought is that... Free for current owners. Free for current owners. My thought is that the PSVR version is in the works and they just... It's not ready to launch. I mean, it, time, it, it, I think it's... Because they did patch the PS4 version with yeah, HDR. That so That it's that, harder yeah. to develop for the PSVR than... The just because limitations... Now, so. Yeah, exactly. I think I think it's in the works, and I think that uh, that Xbox I could see it coming out in fans like are probably jumping out on this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's it's definitely interesting. You know, you could say that like, oh, they're owned by Xbox. Maybe they want to do PSVR now, but, but like right after now, it's updated with the HDR. So it's like it's stuff that they've been working for a while. Yeah, I assume. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure it's like we're working on it. Why should we just start? Let's just yeah. put it out there. Yeah, and also be- for the fans of the game. It's a part of the game. Yeah. This wouldn't be the first time something does come, gets announced and comes to Oculus and Rift and, and Vive and then comes to VR later. So, still up in the air. Yes. Um, yeah, well, uh, I, I think it's going to eventually come, but we'll, we'll chime in. Plus, Xbox could uh, pop their chest up and they're like, oh, see, we're working with, uh, we're better than uh, PlayStation. Despite the fact that Xbox doesn't have VR. Next question. Uh, next three... <laughs> yeah, come from our Facebook group, which is <laughs> facebook.com slash groups slash PS Best Friends, where you can join us and ask us a question to read on the show. First question comes from Jivesh Hanuman. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, let me know if it's wrong, though. Uh, he says, thoughts on the onrush layoffs? Spe- 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 oh, my God. Specifically, rushy and whether marketing or lack of it hurt the game. Um, so none of us knew about this game until we saw it on the drop when we were recording for whatever episode that was. So, uh, yeah, I think that uh, marketing is definitely what hurt a game. Personally, that's what I think. Here. Uh, first of all, layoffs, it sucks for whoever got laid off. Uh, hopefully they can land on their feet. And clearly um, they're good. Like, they're talented. Yeah. Clearly they're talented. It's so a I great they, game, according, you know, to reviews and stuff. Uh, obviously it happened because game sales, you know, they didn't even chart. And UK, which is, you know, big racing. Um, go ahead. Well, don't forget, this is the Drive Club studio, too. Yep. Yeah. So, um, now, the game came out, I think, a week before E3. Not a great oh, spot. Exactly. Okay. Now, remember what I got? We said, I remember for what game, I think it's when we were talking about, um, like, the releases, like, what we're trying to predict. And I, was, I think I was saying that Spider-Man should come out, like, a week after E3, because they could, yeah. like, put it out in the last push. Yeah. This game would have benefited from it. Like, it was after. It was put after it E3. after E3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push yeah, it there's always E3. a giant lull, so yeah. Exactly. Push it after E3. Um, all the fucking gameplay they could have put, like, on uh, IGN or GameStop, like, especially when they're doing the live streams, and try to promote it that way. I don't... I Like... I mean, it, it, do yeah. that. Be- it must just be marketing. The games that are coming out before, it's like they should try to do that. Like, try to push it in E3. 
And then it comes on like, oh, what can we buy in, like now or next week after E3? And like, oh, here's this game. Bang, and I remember saying it. this game looks cool when we talked about it on the show, and then it just apparently didn't do good. Jeff, any thoughts before we move on? Yeah, and I, I can't imagine it's the quality of these games, you know, because they, they did the realistic the Drive Club. Uh, this is Codemasters. Um, and uh, they did the That's realistic the Drive Club, and they did, you know, this more cartoony and wild on Yeah, they don't have the money to... And I, I, it seems, yeah, because, you know, Drive Club also had its bad messaging situation. Uh, Drive Club well, was game, similar the to the No Man's Sky kind of the effect. Beginning, where they, that was, was the hyped up the for forever and then took forever to come out. Like, these do seem to be, be good developers. Next up. Um, yeah, so <laughs> the final question, really, we have another uh, thing to read. But the, the final question comes from Nate Hicks, Patreon supporter and uh, co-host of mine on my other show. That I'll plug at the end of the episode. Uh, Nate Hicks says, with talks of this Xbox Scarlet service and what seeming like the head start Microsoft is giving themselves going into the next generation, what kind of response can we expect from Sony? Uh, PlayStation, he actually says, but we mean Sony. Are they going to stay silent or do they uh, and do it the way Sony plans on doing it or try to make more of a competing effort? I think that they're just going to release the PS5 is going to have more power and 4K 60 frames. I think that's what they're doing. I don't think I don't think they want to mess with streaming at all after the nightmare that has been Gaikai. I mean, I, you think you think they're gonna play it that safe? I don't think that's safe. I, mm, okay, I see why you think that would be playing it safe. I think that the, that it's bold to not compete against them. It's bold. To, it, I think it's bold that they're gonna expect people to just say, yeah. "Oh, okay, it's the PS5, which is kind of just a better PS4." May I? Okay, jump in, we go. Okay. So, what do they have uh, for streaming? That's a question. They bought the Gaikai service. It's PlayStation now. Which is yeah. called, okay. What are the rumors well, like that later. we talked about like uh, like two, three weeks ago? About Downloadable it. games uh, that are PS4 games on PlayStation now. Okay. So if that happens, I could see them doing um, like a service for it later on when the PS5 comes out. Kind of like Game Pass on Xbox. Like Game Pass, exactly. I don't think they're going to so a uh, what the Xbox uh, Scarlet? I don't know. Did you explain it? No, right. So it's, I think it's supposed to be a box, a little small box. Like, let's compare it to uh, like PlayStation TV, something mm-hmm. like that. Only with real capabilities. Because <laughs> PlayStation TV had a garbage. I'm Wi-Fi just comparing chip it. I'm just comparing. But yes, you're right. You're right like you're around right. that size, around it's a that streaming size, box, basically. Yeah, and it's gonna have probably enough space for you to like download a game or two. Yeah, it's probably like a Roku but for gaming. Yeah, exactly. So it's not gonna have that much power. It's gonna grab it from the like the cloud, and um, it's gonna be around like uh, people are saying maybe around like a hundred fifty, a hundred, a hundred to a hundred fifty dollars. So I don't think PlayStation is gonna do that. No, I don't no think they're gonna release another like PlayStation TV. They're just gonna release the actual PS5, and it's gonna be like PlayStation Now, or they might uh, rebrand it to PlayStation something else. And have it like Game Pass, like you're able to fucking download, like pay ten dollars and actually download the games to your console and play like that. What if they just called it PlayStation Plus Plus? That'd be fucking like N, stupid. Like, dude. N, like N Plus Plus. <laughs> that'd be that'd be stupid. <laughs> oh, it's stupid. PlayStation that be? multiplied. Um, I don't. I mean, I, I just I, I'm trying to f- think. PlayStation of the Pass. Word. There you go. Ooh, PlayStation Pass. That is a cool yeah. name. They probably they probably trademarked that. PSP. Yeah, <laughs> they're already oh, on the nice. license. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, but I do see them do something about it. I I could see something like a Game Pass type thing, but I don't see a streaming heavy. But thing. not like yeah, it's like I, I don't, I don't see the, see the streaming part. They was really tried what I meant, it. They part. tried it with uh, PS uh, TV. Well, even no, just I PS know Now in not... general, but yeah, PlayStation TV and yeah. um, no, PlayStation TV so had PlayStation Now on it, right? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. what I'm saying. Exactly. It did. Yeah. You can't it did. play it now, but it did. Yeah. Now you can only do remote play from it um, or play Vita games. But they're actually trying to probably sell that little console. Yeah. It's still going to have the the actual Xbox, whatever the fuck they want to call it. Xbox fucking Infinity or whatever. And Yeah, that's going to be a secondary. It's not going to be their main new console. I think that their but it's just PlayStation is going to make people. a console to compete with Xbox's f- full-fledged new console. They already yeah. did a PSTV, like you said. They're not going to do the, that again. Yeah, the thing is, I don't see PlayStation competing against the Scarlet, because, Xbox's new cloud thing, because... I don't think the Scarlet's going to succeed. I don't think the cloud thing's going to work, even in 2020. Here. Where, you know, internet's a different landscape. I I I have amazing internet, and it still lacks. No, you guys are missing the point. 
What do you mean? You guys are keep uh, thinking of streaming, streaming, streaming. It's not. That's what Scarlet's that. gonna be. That's no, what Scarlet's gonna be. It's streaming. It's what are you talking about? It's gonna be half. I mean, it's gonna be half. Wait, it's gonna be you half. one game. You're on gonna it. have. You're gonna be able to download at least one or two games to the fucking. H- okay, um, one or hard two drive. games. That's no big deal. But it's gonna be focused more for the Game Pass. It's not gonna be focusing for the people that actually want the the fucking like. 4K, no, but it is a streaming XDR. box, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you're gonna be able to stream, but you're gonna have the option to download the extra. But that's game so ancillary, it. though. You, one game is nothing. Wait, hold on. Let me get the. Uh, okay, hold on. Here's a here's a, uh, a quote from The Verge to clarify this: the streaming only console will reportedly include a low amount of local compute, of local compute, I guess you could say, that, for handling tasks like controller input, image processing, and collision detection. These so there's a built-in hard drive. To reduce latency in gaming in game streaming, and Microsoft is said to be planning to slice and up processing between the game running locally and in the cloud in order to reduce input lag and other image processing delays. So it'll be so downloading get, assets as you play, but you're not downloading a game. You'll be downloading some of it, yeah. Some yeah, portion. like it'll 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 download bits as it needs it, and then re, and then write over those as you're playing. It's not. I mean, you're not downloading I mean, a full game. For, so someone you, who pl- it, for someone who plays Madden and Fortnite. The, you can't, no, you can't play that. For, for $100? And you have Madden two games servers are garbage as it is. You can't play Madden on a streaming service. I'm, you know what I'm saying. Um, like I yeah. said, this is going to be focusing to the people... And it's going to sell game. as much game as Pass. PS TV did. It's going to focus for the people that want to get Game Pass. Dude, people are still buying physical copies of Sea of Thieves. No one know even, like, the general public is still not really even sure what Game I Pass is. I get it. In two fucking years, bro, you could promote it. It's like... Here. I'm just saying let I let just give personally you don't think it's going to sell I get well. it, bro. I get it. But I'm trying like put myself on the other side. And like I wish, I really fucking wish that Xbox went through uh, through the yeah, mission that they the had on one. the Xbox. Yeah. Like, I was too. always a fan of it, honestly. Th- I, I was too. Like I wish they just kept at it because at this point people were just used to it. And they were like, oh, is PlayStation actually going to do it next uh Instead of being like, oh, I still want out my physical media. Like, I get why, because the internet's still not there in a lot of the People United want States their boxes overall. to put on their shelves. Exactly. But, I mean, we're going to get there. Look at fucking PC gaming. It's just, it's rare when you find an actual box with the disc. Some fucking PCs don't even have the fucking... Some, uh, they're, a lot of them are just ROM. boxes with codes in them. They're not exactly. even discs. We will have to see. Thank you, Nate, for that... Uh, that's the mission. And, the and then yeah. our other Nate in our Facebook group, Nathan Ulig, writes in. He says, no question, just a big thanks. Sold my old house, got a new one, and been fixing it for a while. Uh, through all that, I haven't touched my PS4 since February. Almost finished up, and I'm jonesing to get that sweet DualShock 4 back in my hands. So thank you for keeping me entertained and in the loop during my video game dry spell. You are very welcome, my friend. I'm excited for you to be up and running. Uh, I want to have you on. Uh, hello there, my other podcast with Nate Hicks. Uh, to talk some Star Wars, I'm sure we'll fight on there. That's fine. Um, yeah, yeah no, if you want to yeah. fight, if you want to fight, just bring me on, dude. Uh, <laughs> d- just go away. Uh, no, but yeah, <laughs> th- thank you, thank you, uh, Nathan. Nathan. Um, yeah, we uh, really appreciate it. That's yes, we, thank you. Thank you we point. definitely try to whenever there's a new game or something, we know that like not ev- all the listeners are playing everything or or even like playing as you say, like you haven't played it since February. Uh, we try to get you know our impressions and kind of what's happening across uh so i uh, thank you for c- continuing to listen honestly and uh also pubg mobile counts there's bots <laughs> but it counts that does Th- count as a chicken dinner <laughs> this has been ps best friends podcast episode 62 it's kind of a long episode we haven't really done an episode this long in a while uh for any questions comments and concerns you can email us at psbestfriendspod at gmail.com or follow us on twitter at psbf podcast additionally as mentioned before you can join us in our facebook group facebook.com slash groups slash psbestfriends you can hit us up on there just write a post whenever uh also this is the part of the podcast where jeffrey reads our patreon supporters that back us for two dollars or more get a shout out Shouts out to Patreon supporters such as Jake Malore, Nathaniel Hicks, and Jack Terzi. Once again, we cannot do this without your, not even financial support, but you know, your emotional support. Uh, thank you so much. Um, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Give us a five-star rating on your podcast app of choice, but especially iTunes. If you are not using iTunes, you're using uh, Overcast, Downcast, anything like that, uh, we would appreciate if you also <laughs> gave us a review on iTunes because that uh, definitely helps us a real lot with the algorithms, gets us up the charts, which gets more people listening, which increases the quality of the podcast. So we would really, really appreciate that. And also, if you want to check us out on YouTube, just search in the type in the search bar on YouTube, PS Best Friends. It'll pop right up. Uh, we have some. We've been saying, <laughs> we've been saying for a while that we have some stuff in the works, but I think we actually are kind of motivated now uh, to be doing some content. I want to do some No Man's Sky stuff with Miguel, uh, Jeffrey. I don't know. Working way too much. Fucking I stupid <laughs> Destiny <laughs> shit. I don't know. Whatever. Um, and also, breaking news. Some big news about the podcast. We have a lot more news coming in the following weeks, but uh, we're going to kind of kick it off with this. We're looking to do a kind of rebrand of the podcast because we want to start talking more about. Um, and Overall, we've kind of we've kind of started else. to talk more about it, but in general, uh, we want to focus on a lot of uh, kind of facets of gaming, not just PS, you know, uh, PlayStation, <laughs> uh, which will always kind of be, you know, sort of our main focus. But I've been playing a lot of PC gaming. I've been playing a lot of Switch. Miguel's been playing a lot of PC. Jeff plays on his 3DS still because he's. Why are gold demo? Uh, so it. let us know if you have any suggestions for what we should be uh, thinking about for a name change. That's not um, immediate. That's going to be you know it's in the works. It's and not going to be next episode. No, uh, and let us know if you guys are okay with it and how would you like us to change. You know, yeah, what, yeah. What are feedback? your opinions yeah. on a name change? Um, but uh, if you're down with it, and if you ever thought of a, a solid name, but you know don't have the time or resources to make a podcast and want to donate that name to us, we will accept that name. Um, this is your chance to contribute to our be, podcast in a be part permanent. of podcast history. You can tell your <laughs> friends, hey, check out this podcast. I named it. Yeah, there you go. Um, so you can let us know that at all of our uh, social profiles, such as Everything Miguel. that I mentioned about a minute and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, Miguel, where can people find you? <laughs> uh, people can find me at my house. Uh, my address is uh, 999. You, you just got to give it one day. Just no. give, the, get, give it. Who's going to know if it's, if it's, if it's right I will probably or wrong? one day. Gonna, one day. You'll like actually uh, give it a no one even Yeah, and they'll be like, huh, I wonder if that's true or not. Um, PlayStation Network, Dark Angel 1010. Uh, people have sent uh, send me some uh, invites. I'm sorry if I don't join. Sometimes you guys send them when uh, I'm like about to leave. So that's usually sorry. anytime anyone sends me a friend request, even when <laughs> yeah, I yeah, it's like I'm about to leave and they send it, and I was like, I'm not. I'm like I'll play with you guys, but I, you know, I'm getting out or whatever. Uh, and uh, Twitter at Angel Alvarez ten. That's I with think. a J. Yes. Because you used Maybe. to write it on the dock, and then you stopped putting it on the dock. But I remember you yeah. used to put it. I don't tweet much, so it's once in a while. I saw you tweeted something, or... like, the other day, and I'm like, I don't know. Oh, what yeah. I was pissed off of uh, the quick score. I jumped in fucking one first game on... Uh, no, not my... that. I saw you tweet, like, a like a gif of something. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't remember. It was... A... Oh, about a comment to... Uh, <laughs> uh, to... Um, what's his name? The... Comedian that from kind of funny that was on the, is he's on the, Mike, my, my oh Mike uh, Aransky right yeah there yeah, we go yeah, yeah. he tweeted something about uh make me laugh or something with four words or like three words and I put a uh, president double Donald Trump and I give the the duck the Donald Duck getting plucked on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I was like, I don't know what the fuck that means, but that's weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you see it, it's gonna make you laugh. I have laugh. no idea what the, what you described. Exactly, but it's funny, right? It's it's Donald Duck getting his ass like plunged, but it was like someone turned it into Donald Trump. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, I, I, I don't I know mean, what the fuck it meant, but whatever. Jeff, just, where can people find you? You can find me at Donald Duck's plugged asshole. You can find me. Uh, <laughs> on- <laughs> Uh, PSN Brawl 96, uh, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, Mr. Brawl 96. Oh, fucking A. <laughs> uh, you can find me on uh, Steam, PlayStation, Xbox Live. I wouldn't Live, mind seeing that. And, uh, Tom um, getting plugged. Uh, not Switch, because they use stupid-ass fucking friends codes. But you can find me on those three places, the only X188. That's O-N-E, and then the number is 88. You can also find me on Hearthstone, where I'm gearing up for the Boomsday Project. Uh, which Miguel forgot to mention, there is a new card revealed for the Boomsday Project, and it is an oh, exploding yeah, pinata, pinata shaped like or a llama. Fortnite. They're sailing stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Could be an so, homage, uh, could be totally unrelated. I don't know. I don't know how far in advance they work on these I cards. I see a lawsuit later on. 
Um, I mean, it's Activision Blizzard. I'm sure they'll be like, okay. I know. I'm just I'm, I'm fucking around. Uh, but yeah, so you can find me on Hearthstone or really Battle.net in general, but that Hearthstone's the only thing I play on Battle.net. At the only X188, <laughs> hashtag 1470. Or you can find me on Twitter at Anthony Palm, where I like to talk about sports. This has been the PS Best Friends episode 62. Thanks again for listening. We will catch you all next week. Peace.